Charles Jordan and Andre Yule in the featherweight division. Charles Jordan with 11 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. Honestly, doesn't have the best record inside of the UFC. If you look at the record so far, 1 loss, 2 loss, 3 losses, two wins and one draw so he has a losing record in a side of the ufc but every single one of those fights has been very very competitive knocked out duho Choi, got a split decision against a formerly ranked opponent at featherweight and andre feely a draw with joshua cooley bow third round knockout of marcelo rojo very very close fight with julian arosa until that third and final round so even though he has a losing record in a side of the ufc he puts on a banger fights Every single time he goes out there, he throws huge shots, really good counter punching. Not the best wrestling or grappling, but he does have very good counter punching, a lot of power in his hands, some solid kicks as well. Um, his leg kicking hasn't really been a theme of his career in the past. But he's, of course, going to be landing a lot of leg kicks here. If you're fighting a guy with the stature of Andre Yule, you're going to be attacking the leg. Uh, he's 5 foot 8 inches tall, 75 inch reach, really relies on the movement to get him the win. And if, you, if you're fighting Andre Yule, do exactly what Julio Ars is going to do, what Chris Gutierrez is going to do. Attack the leg of Andre Yule, limit that movement, and then just absolutely destroy him with the boxing in the later rounds. That's exactly what I see happening here. Um, I see him attacking the leg in the first round. I believe it's not going to be too damaged, of course, because Charger Dane isn't necessarily the, the highest of the high leg kicker in the featherweight division, but he is a very solid leg kicker, um, in my opinion. He's not really known for that, but if you're fighting Andre, you'll, you're going to be going for a lot of leg kicks, uh, but I do believe Charles Jordan could uh, attack the leg very early in that first round, then start to come forward with a lot of different volume, a lot of pressure, a lot of boxing combinations, and that is where we're really going to see the edge in the fight, because really the only way that Andre Yule wins his fights is using that reach, going in and out, in and out, using that movement. Once you take away the movement with those leg kicks, then in the later rounds, you start to pressure, put on those boxing combinations, that is where Charles Charles Jordan is really going to flourish, so uh, I see this being as a pretty, pretty fairly easy prediction. Uh, but again, it is it is MMA. We just saw the last fight with Charles Jordan doing fairly good. It was a close fight, but then getting caught with a submission on Julian Arosa. I'm not saying that's going to happen again here, but you never know. It's MMA. But I'm going to go Charles Jordan. I believe he's the better striker. He's going to attack the legs early, and I do believe Charles Jordan should win the fight by decision. Ah. Uh, that's tough. I'm going I'm to go third round knockout. I, I believe once those leg kicks kind of come into effect, then he's going to land those boxing combinations much, much easier. 50-50 on decision or third round knockout. I, I'm going to go third round knockout. I'm going to go Charles Jordan by a third round knockout. Really good fight in the featherweight division.